Harris, nice to see you. Happy Monday. Okay, happy Monday. How are you? Not too bad at all. So it seems we're determined in recognizing this problem. I think an espresso seems about right. Absolutely. We, we need to be determined and, and good Italian espresso will give just that sharp note we need. All right. So where do we need to look next? Well, go around and look how lubrication is done right now. So uh, that's a very good place to look, actually. If it's done in anarchy mode, and that's very often when somebody does something sometimes, maybe, then it's quite clear where the problem comes from. So anarchy normally leads to destruction. And it's not uh, any difference in, in lubrication area. So, but actually, do not mix, mix anarchy with revolution. Revolution is in lubrication is something we surely need. Well, oh, anarchy sounds like something I've seen so many times. Yeah, unfortunately, we've both seen so many times, and it's never a nice picture. But it's actually a good place to start a revolution. Wait, so anarchy is a pattern we're looking for? Uh, no, 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 that's, a, that's only one of the possibilities, an obvious one. So you also need to be aware of the, of the several others, uh, feeling-based lubrication approach. That one is actually quite popular. So uh, I'm sure you've seen it. There must be a guy who simply feels if lubricate buildings need grease and how much. He also feels if buildings are better or not after that process. I consider myself an emotional guy and I tried to talk to buildings several times. It didn't work. I felt nothing. Uh, honestly, it's a myth put in place by people protecting their own positions and not willing to learn at the same time. Normally, uh, those are a little bit older guys like me, and unfortunately, you may be surprised with the fact how much it can be accepted and supported across the organization. People like heroes, and the feeling guy is often perceived as a hero. He seems to have some God-given ability that, uh, that others don't have, and that makes him irreplaceable. Politically, it's a very intelligent uh, uh, position for him. All he needs to do is to keep technology and knowledge out of the picture, and he will be safe forever. So it's a lubrication dictatorship. Uh, I think I met one of these feeling guys. I talked to him alone, explained to him that with technology and knowledge, he would be even more important. He accepts it before others and how it worked. And you did a great job. That, that, that's actually how you need to talk to him. Instead of confrontation, you conspired with him. So you showed him a risk if somebody else comes with a new stuff and you played on his, his ego. And he's, if he is clever, he will, he will keep his position as a leader. Oh, yeah. It worked excellently. What else do we have? Well, sometimes you have a copycat. Uh, that's, that's usually when somebody has a friend that works in almost the same facility, same pro profile of industry, and they have a very, very good lubrication program. So they copy. Uh, from a friendship point of view, it's, it's a very nice, not, not nice, nice sign. It's, it's, it's good. Somebody's sharing data, but actually it never works. Conditions uh, of different assets are unique and operational conditions are unique. Uh, are they balanced to the same grade? Are they equally well aligned? It's the same load, same general conditions. So copy-paste simply doesn't work because they are different. If it worked, uh, we would have only one condition monitoring team per industry uh, in the world. And everyone else would just copy-paste their assessment and recommendations, but it's also. Okay, so this is starting to sound like condition monitoring and lubrication. And it is, by all means it is. Condition monitoring, condition-based action, condition monitoring of the outcome. In short words, it's condition-based lubrication. It sounds like a Natural flow, right? Absolutely. Sounds like common sense too. But how does this stand opposed to time-based lubrication? Uh, well, same as time-based maintenance stands opposed to co to condition-based maintenance. So why doing something if it's not necessary or it doesn't bring benefit at all? Why do something simply because it's scheduled to be done two months from now? Uh, because statistics says so. Maybe I believe in statistics for sure, but uh, it often explains history, things that already happened. Uh, if we add present, and that is the real condition right now that we actually measure, we have much, much better picture. So, um, you know, you, you might be statistically well fed for 20 years at 2 p.m. every day, plate of nice pasta. But isn't it a good idea to ask you if you are actually hungry right now instead of just serving it? But well, just for the record, for the viewers, a uh, plate of nice pasta is never a problem. I think we can all agree on that. So, time-based lubrication, many people strongly believe in it. And that's fine. It's, it's good to believe in something. It's much better than believing in nothing. Uh, personally, I believe in data. Assumptions and estimates, they result in hope, uh, not in informed decisions. 
So calculations are calculations are all based on formula that consider many correctional factors or impacting parameters. Main problem is in those parameters. And the main problem is the fact that we cannot assess them precisely or they continuously change, which is quite often. That leads to possible huge mistakes. Now, you can calculate interval of 1,000 hours and 6,000 hours. And you can justify both of them with the same formula and the same, same mathematics. So temperature, load, variable speed, start-stop regime, humidity, unknown contamination. You can imagine how many different things can happen. So often those who create recommendations have no idea about any of those parameters. Still, it's a very nice excuse when things go, go wrong. So you just said, it wasn't me, it was the formula, I'm not, I'm not the one to blame. Uh, so this is our diagnosis number three. Can we call it the wrong approach? Absolutely, wrong approach it is, I agree. So then how do we deal with it? Simple, with the right approach. Uh, seems like right. we need another cappuccino to deal with it. Absolutely, I agree. So, Monday, new cappuccino? Monday. Or espresso? Monday it is. Until next okay. time. Okay. See you. Bye-bye.